Dulux Sterigard water-based enamel. Is it better than the Dulux Acra enamel? Watch this video and find out. Morning everybody, how are you going today? Beautiful day in um, Queensland, Australia. This is my fourth day here today, actually my fifth day here today. And I'm just doing some white trims. Um, and we're doing a wash and wear, two coats of Dulux wash and wear. The trim is the water-based enamel. Now, instead of using aqua enamel on this job here, I'm actually trying something different. This one's a bit more expensive. Uh, it's called Sterigard. Um, can't find much online about it. Uh, there's definitely no reviews. There's definitely nothing on it at all. Uh, so anybody who's buying it is really flying blind. Uh, it's a water-based uh, based enamel, premium water-based enamel. So it is, is supposed to be a pretty good drop. Um, the difference between this one here and the aqua enamel. So that's a really good question. What's the difference between the two? Um, this one's a little bit dearer than the aqua enamel. I'm finding the aqua enamel, because uh, I only did one house with it in the video um, that you see, uh, is the only one I've done with it. Um, this is the next house I've done with, this is my second time with the water-based enamel on the new homes. Uh, so like I said, I'm gonna try all the different ones until I find one I really like. Now the biggest thing that hit me that's worth the extra dollars for the Sterigard it basically brushes um, very similar. It uh, doesn't quite flow as much as the uh, aqua enamel. The aqua enamel seems a bit more creamier and it does cover a little bit better. We're doing a white trim and we're doing a color called broom half. The doors were done as specified, two coats of the, um, the water-based enamel. Still, you know, there's, there's your little bit of a texture. I actually bought the roller sleeve that's recommended by Dulux, sold by Dulux for that water-based enamel. <sighs> I've still got to get used to it um, at a distance. It looks great at a distance with your eyes squinted. It looks brilliant. This one seems to have a little bit more shine than the aqua enamel. Um, but the biggest thing about this one here, which makes it easier to use than the aqua enamel, is we don't have any runs. Now all these frames were sprayed. Now they've been sprayed in two coats, they've been, have your normal undercoat. Um, then we have another undercoat. There's actually four coats of paint on those, those door frames. I thought one Sterigard might have been enough, but when I got my light up to it, you can actually see uh, it needed a second one. So I've put a second one on it, it's no dramas. Just left it an hour or something, because it was a bit cloudy yesterday left it an hour or something and then gave it that second coat. Now the biggest difference between this one and the aqua enamel is there's no runs. No runs at all. So in this whole section, we, I didn't have a run. Uh, and it was cloudy yesterday, so but no runs. And I just used the exact same tip as that I used on the aqua enamel. The aqua enamel run like a bugger. Uh, even on the, the door frames, um, the window frames, uh, it run like a bugger. So that's the big key, uh, those runs. The sheen level, um, we're not really gonna get much better unless we go Hames or something like that. It's a different brand, which I can't do. But that's the sheen on the, on the, um, the doors. It's acceptable. You know, there's, there's one there, it looks okay. Um, I, I really, really like this uh, white with this color here. This is a beautiful color, and I'll probably be doing my own bedroom in this color here. Now this is a 200 square meter house. All the covers are finished. The skirtings needed two coats of the um, Sterigard afterwards. But to be honest with you, I can still see a little bit through them. I'm gonna leave it at that but I can still see a little bit through them because this had to be done, uh, this is wash and wear. So we were painting straight over this color here. Um, so we really had to put two coats in. I haven't really thinned this paint out at all. I haven't really needed to. 
uh, because it was a little bit um, overcast and rainy yesterday. This is any of those broken gaps or anything that I use the, my um, liquid nails on. Yeah, so basically all I've done is just gone around and got rid of the white from when I've sprayed the ceilings. I'm spraying all the ceilings and I'll come down and I'll just get rid of the white. Uh, all the walls have been plastered uh, and they will be sanded. Yeah, but that's it. And um, yeah, there's really nothing on the internet about this Steriguard. Little tiny bit about Acronaval, but not really, not really. This is another room. Um, and for the skirtings, we're going to be doing the white skirtings here. Uh, when we cut and roll the walls, uh, I'll just not worry about the skirtings at the moment. I'll just uh, paint the top, just smash the top in. And then um, right at the end, I'll just go along and uh, just cut those in. I'll probably have to do two coats over the tops of those skirtings. Nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. This door here is actually hitting that wall in there. Pain in the ass. I've had to take out a bracket there to try to get it over a little bit. But um, yeah, any of the corners that we have cracking or anything, as you see, I do fix things as I go. So what happened with some of the paper, I let go on that one there. So that'll be, um, that was liquid nailed yesterday. And there's a little bit of movement here. And also down here, we had some liquid nails as well. Another one here in this corner. Uh, you just never know, you know. There's some of the, where I've sprayed the doors. Uh, so that'll just be sanded. And as I'm cutting in the tops, normally I'll give that a sand and uh, just hit those bare patches. And then they'll have um, two coats of uh, wash and wear over the top of that. So that'll be three coats, so it's a three coat system. The owners are paying for some extras in here. So, but yeah, now it's come up all right. I'm, I'm reasonably happy with it. So just give you a quick look at this finished product. All the skirtings and that are done now. I really love the colors. I think it's a very, very nice color. I've just got to pack up there and I've just got the eaves outside to cut in, which I'll do tomorrow. That's it. The stained door done as well. See those walls? Beautiful. The walls are beautiful.
Got the touch up paint all done. Eaves. I'll fix them up and put them in a nice little box there soon. But it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and I've just um, I'll just pack this stuff up here. And I'll go out and I'll do a little bit of work outside and then tomorrow I'll come in and I'll probably be here a couple of hours. I've got a couple of lentils to do and I've just got to cut those eaves in um, and that should uh, finish it. So. so that was all done with the wash and wear low sheen and the Steriguard water-based enamel. One of the things I really don't like about this, it is a little bit, um, how you say, it's not hard yet. I'll see what it's like when we come back for touch-ups on whether it hardens up. Um, people say it does, so we'll see. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm nearly up to my 3,000, so I'm very excited about that. Um, yeah, great. Catch us later, eh? Appreciate you watching. Bye.